Greenberg Project, like, comment, subscribe. This blog right here is going to be more so about, I can't even say this for my Lutheran folks, but let's just check it out. Let's get into it. We have to be very careful, people in general, about doing broad accusations that hint towards an aspect of racism and things like that going on. And I'll be very blunt about it. Like, just because someone opposes or isn't even in favor of CRT doesn't mean they're not trying to, don't see the problem in regards to the racial dynamic and historical context in regards to things. That's the first thing. We have to be careful about that because, matter of fact, I'm, forget, forget the, the, the talking in general. Recently, an article came out by this guy named Jamar Tisby, an author published, uh, I mean, I don't know him, but overall cool dude, it seems like, on some on some level, um, where he talked about some Grove City College's anti-CRT stands and then reforming their school. He tied that to a letter that the president of my synod sent to a school. And it's, I'm going to be honest with you, the overall context of the letter is the people in charge are wilding, not following rules, we need to get him out of here. Cordially, nicely, he even gives people due props. Like, I mean, one of the people there, like, yo, y'all y'all were so nice when we were there. But that was the context of it. When I say not following rules, it's like they're hiring a president and this and that, and there are certain bylaws you're supposed to follow, and there's constant violations of it. Those were the premise of the letter. That was the context of the letter. The letter was not a, I see a... You say yes, CRT. I say no, CRT. We have to be like Grove City. It's not that. It's literally in the whole letter, like three sentences that reference Grove City. And all it says is Grove City had a, Grove City saw an issue, saw that they were going astray. And the issue was CRT directly with Grove City. We're going, Grove City said we're going to use this to get back to what we think we should be about. I'm not familiar with it. I don't know much about it. You know what I'm saying? In regards to uh, what problems they have with CRT and things of that nature. But I do and I did read that that was the premise. Here, that the premise wasn't, the, the, the whole article wasn't even about racial stuff. An article, the whole letter, personal letter, wasn't even about racial stuff. They go on to mention in the letter things like, like I said, the violations. And then he mentions that people... Faculty, staff, students, this and that, the community, they have been concerned about um, these new initiatives coming in and this and that. An example used in the letter was they tried to change uh, one of the positions they're hiring for, which some people might have an issue with this, but this isn't the topic at hand. They tried to slide in there. This person will be he dash she. Kind of hinting that, yo, we're joining the pronoun gang. Knowing that in the LCMS Lutheran body, we believe in male headship. We believe in, on biblical premise. It's not like we're sitting here just, yo, go Republican. You know what I'm saying? It's on biblical premise. And that was the stance. So like, no, this is another example of them going against the bylaws and things that we have set up. Now, I could see if somebody took that issue and tried to come out like this. But to sit here and try to make it a racial issue as if he was even talking about racial stuff, to me, it, it, it's no good. It, it's a foul play, you know? And let's be honest. The LGBT group, I'm not sure if there's other vowels or consonants. So, please excuse me if I left your three-letter string out. No, seriously, no offense. But... They have aligned themselves with civil rights and Martin Luther King and things of that nature. Not many people oppose it or actually talk about the disrespect of it, you know, but this isn't the blog for that. We don't even talk about it. So when they talk about inclusionary practices and he directly hints at something like that, like we're not even going this route, you know. And then they, they subtly mention in there, you know. These secular ideas for inclusion of X, Y, Z, he does mention race in there because it's like one big gumbo pot now for some reason, probably because no one opposes them hijacking the civil rights movement. 
They're too busy high five and going along with anything they want to for progressiveness that now is lumped in there. You know, me being black is, is, is equivalent. I went to the movies, right? And they're talking about, you know, social justice stuff. And it's uh, not just social justice, just inclusion. I see a kid with a bro, uh, uh, missing a leg. I see just a whole bunch of stuff. Gay people, trans people. And they put a black person there. It's like, yo, those are not similar. Those are not similar. That's my gripe, though. I, I don't like that. Don't compare my skin to someone's sexual orientation. But back to the subject at hand. We have to be careful. Because if, if, if you read this thread in this article by Jamar Tisby, that's it, and this is no shot at him in a sense because I, I, I have no beef with him. You know, I've seen what they did there uh, when they were ran. I've seen them move towards what, what they are now. Watch the whole process, you know. But we have to be careful. We have to be careful because you even go on to mention in the article that, well, this article says let's keep a distinct Lutheran identity. And then you put a chart up saying 90% of the Lutheran LCMS denomination is white. I have did blogs on it. Yes, that's true. But when you do that after you lay out that premise, you're acting as if it's racially based. You're not taking in the context that this is an immigrant church. This is people who came in from Eastern Europe. And they cuddled together, stayed in their cave together, and just reached out to each other and kind of decided to evangelize based on schooling and families. Now, do I think we could do more? Yes, I think we could do more. Do I think that Pastor Harrison and them are, are currently now secretly anti-CRT? Like in a public platform type? No, I don't. I don't. Do I think he's for CRT? No. But you can be against CRT and still be cognizant and worried about the issues at hand. Like, one part in his thread he mentions, this is the, not the article, but the, 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 the marketing attempt to promote the blog. Where he, where he talks about how grand statements are made about racial inclusion, but more needs to be done. This letter wasn't about that. Like... You're bashing somebody when their intent wasn't even that topic. And in the letter, when they say Lutheran identity, and fact, I'll read one part of it where he mentions that. Not Tisby, but um, Pastor Matt Harrison. Talking about using this opportunity. Use this unique opportunity to craft diversity resources based upon inerrant scriptures. Without the additional baggage of secular inclusive initiatives. Now, we all hear the word secular and we're like, ooh, they're ready to fight. It's bad. It doesn't mean that. And I have a hard time with taking an anti stance with someone saying, I want my I want my mission, I want my goal to be biblically based. It's not saying that there aren't good and healthy things. In the secular realm, there's also bad and unhealthy things in the secular realm. Let's be honest. But they're not saying that. They're just saying that as a Lutheran, we're going by this book here. We're going by this book here. This is what we're going to try to initiate by, live by, and move by. How can you really sit here and try to paint that stance as some undercover racist or race-based type initiative? I mean, it just is not really fair. And then, and I hate to mention it, but then we have like the, the Lutheran for Racial Justice jumping on board, retweeting it as if this is a found solid accusation based upon my synod. I get it. I get it. He does little blogs for them. He does little uh, videos for them. And like I said, out of all the Lutheran side ministries, they're probably the only ones um, that are receptive or have to have communicated back and forth with me on things. You know, the black ministries, I want to go into it. I want to go into it. But we have to be careful. If someone, like I said, someone can oppose CRT and still talk about this type of stuff and still have their concern and worry, but think that that's not the right approach. That's not the right approach. Like, 
you guys on the side, and I say you guys on the side because I'm not really pro CRT or anti CRT, to be honest with you. Like for me, we fought for civil rights long before this classic cliche term hit the hit the main front. Okay? So I'm not gonna sit here and waste my time acting like this is the end all be all argument or conversation when it comes to things. I don't even want to talk about it that much. But I do know it's a problem when you start pointing fingers at people and hinting because he didn't quote unquote say he's racist or this and that, but he tried to make it seem as if the letter was like Grove Cities, Grove Cities initiative of we hate CRT, CRT is this, 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 let's stop this because of CRT. No. Actually, in the letter, like they actually, they actually, I got it right here, actually. They list out the violations of the people that the letter's based on. And nowhere in here, I'm not going to read it because it's three pages. I'm not saying that's long. I read books, you know what I'm saying? But it's too long to be on here talking, all right? Um, it, it's just, it's literally one, two, three, four, five, six, like seven, seven to eight violations. None of them have to deal with racial issues. None of them. Like I mentioned before, the main one that's the hot trend now is July 2021 changes to the faculty handbook included referencing the president with the pronouns he or she and his or her in violation of Holy Scripture and scriptural doctrinal oversight in the church and its universities. Like, there is nothing that solid, that concrete that's pointing to a racial issue in this letter. It's not. It's not. And I'm going to be 100% honest with you. And I'm not saying this I'm not saying this directly for Tisby or his organization or any other organization. But I'm not excluding nobody either with this comment, to be honest with you. Most of the ministers and the people that I do see that are so gung-ho for CRT and this and that, when I follow you guys or, or, or support ministries or, or check out ministries, I don't hear Jesus too often. I don't. I don't. So when you hear people say mission drift and things like that, you can decide to say, oh, that's mission drift. The same context as Grove Cities when they said mission drift in their, in their stance. I don't know Grove City. I do know my gang. I do know Lutheran. We're all about that Jesus. 100% honest with you. So when we say mission drift, we're talking about taking your eyes off of Golgotha. We're talking about now, instead of our goal being to lead people this way, we're not even referencing Christ. I don't see it. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't. <clears throat> I've seen some ministries where, like I said, ah, forget this disclaimer. I've had literally white people who I talk to who, are, who care about this type of stuff that don't support CRT. Try to call in the various people's podcasts, various people's shows. I didn't mention the name of the show. So don't take it personal, but it might apply. And they're shut down. They're asking for resources and people are telling them, I'm not your secretary. You go research this social justice stuff yourself. Your whole ministry is based on this. How is it you have a white guy who's literally trying to find information out and that's your response? Like, it's almost as if sometimes the goal really isn't a goal. It's more so about let's cause strife and, you know, hey, I'm a little more popular now. It happens on both sides, though. I'm not saying that it doesn't happen on both sides. There's a lot of black people on the anti-CRT side that just throw rocks at black people in the black church. And I'll just say they throw rocks at their own ancestors and cousins and uncles and mothers and fathers. They end up with a nice job in Southern California. I have mentioned no names here, so please don't don't get in your feelings. But my point is, is let's not sit here and act as if everybody who's anti CRT is some vile racist and they're against uh, progression. A lot of them probably are. Doesn't mean they all are. In this letter, I don't think it was a fair representation to sit here and try to paint the denomination this way. And people might read, see this and say, oh, you're biased. You are LCMS. Yes, I am LCMS. But no, I did blogs where I called out entities within my denomination, in my synod. Matter of fact, I did one based on racial stuff. Let me tell you what happened. The LCMS, the people directly tied and in line with Matt, uh, President Pastor Matthew Matt Harrison, contacted me. 
interviewed me, sat there on the phone, ran ideas, talked to me. I'm a nobody. I'm a nobody. And talked to me about it. They wrote a piece in the Lutheran Witness that has me in it. I can't sit here and act as if, well, first of all, we don't act like I'm, I'm that biased. Like, you know, if you know anything about me, I have no problem with conflict. None. None. So we're not going to act like that, you know. But I am fair. And if you're going to sit here and paint with this broad brush, I don't know if, if, if you're doing it because, now this right here I am talking back about directly a person. I don't know if you're doing it because you, you jabbed up everybody over here and you see an opportunity to throw one over here. I don't know if it's because you're kind of tied with, not tied with, because you're kind of bigger than them right now. The Lutheran for racial justice. And you feel that, oh, I'm hearing more about this group now. Lutherans, let me, you know what I'm saying? Let me make something happen over here. I don't know. All I know is this was a reach. And it's not a fair reach on a serious topic. On a serious topic, this was not a fair reach. I'll tell you right now, if I hire somebody and they have eight violations, they're sitting here having a board that supposed to vote on hiring somebody. And majority of the, bo of the board aren't really supposed to have that much clearance. So they can vote and pass somebody. Matter of fact, hold on, hold on. I don't want to misword it. I don't want to misword it. The BOR violation section, blah, blah, blah. The search committee was comprised of 15 members, which only six of the search committee were regents. The rest were advisors, faculty, and staff. This created a situation where the search community votes could be determined without a single regent voting in favor of the proposed action. It is a breach of the fiduciary duty to commingle its authority in this way with a body that included a majority of non-board members. Fam, you will get fired. You will get out of here. Like, this letter was about that type of stuff. Yes, later on they go into other concerns or concerns that led to this in the sense of from the faculty, staff, and this and that that included um, inclusivity and things like that that they felt weren't in line with the way we operate. Way we operate that's different bro that's different like we can't sit here and just point oh it's a lot of white people over there oh they disagree with crt oh you don't like racial justice you're anti-racial justice you're a racist no 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 and i'm not gonna sit here and just big up my denial because we could be doing more in regards to reaching out informing the black community about the most faithful tradition the holy scripture and confession, Book of Concord, check it out, even as your local Catholic app, or go to Concordia, get one for 50 bucks, or one for two dollars. But side note for marketing, it's just that these are dangerous things to play. These are dangerous things to play, you know. And um, I don't want to say slander, but it, it, it goes that route because now I see replies to the comments people who have no idea about Lutheranism, none. Agreeing, saying, yeah, Lutherans better be careful, this and this, this and this, Germany. LCMS wasn't started in Germany. Like, don't, don't, don't tie our history. If that's the case, I'll go to your Baptist church or even a Puritan church. I think uh, to be Presby, but some of the followers might be. And be like, oh, you go to this, what, Presby church? Yeah. Mm. That's close to Puritans, huh? Yeah. Indian killer, Thanksgiving creator. Like, I, I'm not going to do that for you. I'm not going to do that for you. So don't don't sit here and do that here. Like, actually look at the LCMS, you know? And if you want to talk about our history, talk about our history. You know what I'm saying? Talk about pastors we had that actually sat with and marched with and helped create speeches for Dr. Martin Luther King. Talk about Rosa Young. Talk about these things also. Let's not do this. You know, I don't want to go too long. I'm just saying that. Because a lot of people won't, won't comment. This is just don't go out there as fact. Like, oh, LCMS sided with this. And by no means don't think I'm saying LCMS or Matt Harris is pro-CRT. I'm not saying that. I'm also saying he's not, he's not writing this letter based upon that premise. That's what I am saying. I'm saying this letter wasn't that. It wasn't that. And even if they are anti-CRT... That doesn't mean that they're racially. I, I, I don't want. I almost. I almost uh, bash somebody. 
I just don't want it to come across that way, you know. And one part I do want to read before I get out of here. This, along with the presidential search, pros a unique opportunity for the university to reassert its Lutheran identity and mission and identify and define and embrace diversity. All are created in the image of God and each worth the very blood of Christ. That's what they're talking about when they talk about identity. That's what they're talking about. So, anyhow, I'm going to let that go. Whatever project, like, comment, subscribe.